Hi, tonight we're going to do something different. We're going to visit France. Well, not literally, but spiritually. And the spirit that's going to take us there is not distilled from grains like barley or malted barley or rye or wheat, but rather grapes from the Champagne region, Grand Champagne, Petit Champagne, and this is Remy Martin VSOP Cognac, a type of brandy. 40% alcohol by volume, cork stopper, 750 milliliter format that I'm sampling tonight. Cognac is a type of brandy, as I said before, and it's distilled from grapes, a certain type of grapes from uh, a certain region of France. And what is interesting about cognac is that the flavor profile is very different from whiskey because it's distilled not from the typical grains used in whiskey, but from grapes. Nevertheless, it can be a delight. And this whiskey is, the grade is VSOP, or Very Special Old Pale. There's another grade which is Very Special, or VS, and I assure you that it's only special in name because any cognac that is VS is generally hot, heated, boozy, and best used at, at best as a base in a cocktail. Uh, VSOP, you can enjoy neat, and then there is another grade called XO, or extra old, and I think as of 2016, extra old cognac must be aged for a minimum of 10 years, VSOP, it must be aged for a minimum of four years, and the very special, a minimum of two years. So, we're going to try the Remy Martin VSOP. I have two glasses. I have the classic brandy snifter, and then I have the Glen Cairn glass that is more familiar from the world of Scotch whiskey. I have tried it in both, and what's interesting is that the nose is different in the Glen Cairn than in the traditional brandy snifter. In the uh, Glen Cairn glass, it's more concentrated. So in the Glen Cairn glass, on the nose, vanilla, mulled wine, red licorice. In the brandy snifter, much more orangey, oranges I mean, more complex, more complexity of, uh, much more of a pleasure to nose. So if you're enjoying cognac, put the Glen Cairn glass down and enjoy it in the traditional brandy snifter. Now on the palate. When I tried it in the Glen Cairn glass, it seemed more to accentuate like green apple. But strangely, in the brandy snifter, it accentuates or you taste more of a uh, red licorice, Australian red licorice, more oranges, orange rind, the bit of spiciness, cinnamon on the finish, and uh, some malt and uh, pencil lid. Cognac is different in terms of complexity. We think of Scotch whiskey as being very complex, and by that I mean a tapestry of flavors. Cognac, the, the flavors are delivered more straightforward fashion, at least at the VSOP level, unless you, you have to go to the extra old to get real, true complexity. That being said, this is still a good drink. 
It's smooth. It does dry a little bit on the palate. It offers something different. And I think, you know, Scotch whiskey is good. Canadian whiskey is good. And it's unfortunate to grade a Canadian whiskey against a Scotch whiskey. And similarly with cognac, it's a very different beast. I do love Scotch. And in my heart of hearts, I prefer Scotch over all other whiskeys or distilled spirits. But there, is, you have to expand your mind and your tastes and try different things. And there's a place for cognac. After dinner, obviously, is the traditional way. Maybe with a cigar. But it has a special place. And what this will deliver for you at the VSOP level for Remy Martin, widely available, is a smooth, smooth spirit that has oranges, orange rind, a bit of spice, pencil lead, uh, a bit of almost like a malt liquor taste to it. And if you drink it enough, there's a bit of smokiness, although it's not peated, obviously. VSOP uh, cognac is aged typically four to seven years. Extra old is aged a minimum of 10 years. And this whiskey tastes good, neat. It can be used as the base of a cocktail too. I like cognac once in a while, not all the time. And I will say one thing, this bottle has disappeared quickly. I haven't had it long, but I can't seem to keep it. It's a 750 milliliter bottle and it just disappears. The other night I was watching an old Walter Matthau uh, 1973 uh, flick where he uh, was a bank robber and it's called uh, Charlie Varick. It was a good little flick, and I was drinking some cognac, and the cognac was disappearing very quickly. That's my review for tonight. Broaden your horizons and try a different spirit. Cheers. Thank you for tuning in. Cheers.